In 2002, I became superintendent of the Alhambra Elementary School District. Of course, on the first day of school, you know, being a former principal, I want to be out in the schools, and I was. So I went to Sevilla Primary, and I'm watching the kids come in, you know, parents walking some of their children in, the kindergartners, and, and other children coming in, just, just dressed, uh, you know, very nicely. They, they had their new tennis shoes on, they had on their new shoes, they had on their new dresses, they had on their new uh, Levi's or shirt and, and hairs combed and whatnot. And then all of a sudden I see this one little boy walking down the walk. First I noticed his hair was, was just a mess. Looked at his t-shirt, somewhat dirty. Uh, the collar, the collar was, was worn. Uh, he had on uh, shorts that had uh, elastic in them. The, the elastic was, was pretty weathered. And I just thought, you know, how, how does that happen that you have a, a child like that on the first day of school ends up uh, just looking, for the most part, ragged. Went over to Andalusia Primary, which actually was, was a higher needs school, uh, a Title I school. Um, and, and I'm noticing the kids, I, di I didn't notice one child there uh, that, that looked like their dress was uh, not presentable for school. And I walked in and I ran, first I ran into Rita Tapia, uh, my school nurse, and I told her, I said, God, the kids look great here. I said, you know, Rita, I was over at Sevilla School and I couldn't help but notice this one little boy that was just really ragged. And Rita said, well, aren't they members of the Back to School Clothing Drive? And I said, what? The Back to School Clothing Drive, it takes place in July and they give out clothes there for kids to wear on the first day and throughout the school year. I said, I have to be honest with you, Rita, I'd never heard of it. She said, oh yeah, he, she said, we sent 60 some kids this summer over and they all came back with new clothes on. And so I thought, gosh, there's a reason maybe I didn't see that one or two kids coming to school without, you know, without looking just ready for that first day of school all dressed up. And I just thought, wow, this is, this is really a, a great organization to be involved with. Shortly after that, I found out about uh, two board member positions that were open. Uh, I told uh, Rita, I think I'm going to apply for one of those. I called Jackson and said I'd like to talk about it. I went through the interviewing process, you know. Felt like I was trying to get into Fort Knox going through that, but that was okay. And then, and then I became involved. And in distribution, I truly think t today why I'm still running the shoe department is because of that little boy, and I call him Marky. I don't know what his name is. He just looked like a Marky to me. And, uh, and so I, today I'm in charge of the shoe department, which I, I dearly love and in, in, in working with the, all the volunteers from all over the valley and the children. But it, it's going to continue to be in need and we're going to be a continue, continue to be an organization that's going to need the, the support uh, to uh, be able to, to dress a child.